Okay, so you've got an iPhone, but let's talk about some tech you can use to make the most out of it. And if you don't have an iPhone, you'll want to stick around till the end of this video. So let me ask you something. When was the last time you had fun watching your phone charge? I'll tell you when, never. That is until you've seen this. This is PowerAd's two-in-one USB cable that also lights up when you charge it. And you'll never be bored again when you've got the power of light running through your cable. <laughs> but all jokes aside, this is a pretty cool cable that's undeniably fun to watch, even though all it's doing is charging your iPhone. And an added bonus is that it's also a micro USB cable. Remove the lightning adapter and you'll be able to charge any micro USB device with of course that lighting effect. And you also don't have to worry about the adapter getting lost since it's attached directly to the cable. And the cable's pretty solid and well built, so you don't have to worry about this happening. And next up, we've got the Rhino Shield Crash Guard Bumper. While this may seem like your typical bumper for your iPhone, it's actually very durable. Now, Rhino Shield wanted to team up and sponsor today's video so they can show off exactly what the Crash Guard can do. I don't normally do drop tests because, just like you, I don't like my stuff broken. But Rhino Shield is so confident in their materials and their protective honeycomb structure that they sent me an iPhone 6S to test it out on. Now, instead of the typical drop test you see on YouTube, I decided I'd hit you guys with some real world situations. You ever forget your phone on your lap while exiting a car? I'm ashamed to say it, but I have a couple of times. But honestly, it wasn't a big deal with this bumper on, and it came out with no damage. Now, I know this has happened to some of you. You're jamming out with some headphones, and you move away from your phone, and the thing goes flying. The bumper kept it together here too, even with a higher ledge. So now you've got your stuff packed up, ready to leave somewhere, and whoops, there goes your phone. This thing smacked the table and proceeded to have an ugly fall, and due to the concrete, got a few light scratches on the bumper, but the phone came out perfectly fine. At this point, I'm sold that a real world situation won't cause damage to your phone with the crash guard on, but I wanted to test Rhino Shield's claim to absorb damage up to 11 and a half feet, and as hard as it was for me, I sent it over this 11 foot ledge. This thing hit the ground directly on a corner and bounced around and even hit a wall. The bumper got a few scratches, but the phone was completely fine. And I think it's safe to say for a bumper, that's pretty legit. I definitely never expected a bumper to protect the phone from these kind of falls, but these have been tested to withstand up to 11 and a half feet falls, even those corner hits. If bumpers aren't your style though, they also have the playproof case that I've been personally rocking on my 6S Plus. It's got the same thin yet tough design that puts me way more at ease than the typical Apple case. They've also got some gear for a ton of other phones, so be sure to hit the links in the description if you want to check them out, as well as the other products mentioned in this video. Like playing games on your phone? Well, check out the SteelSeries Nimbus controller. When it comes to gaming on your phone, you're probably not thinking, oh, let me go grab my controller. But there are some games on iOS where it makes sense and it's actually a lot of fun. The controller itself feels very similar to an Xbox One controller, which is a good thing. You've got all the standard controls except for clickable joystick buttons, and it's even got pressure sensitive triggers for games that take advantage of it. It's a very comfortable feel, and when using it to play games, it's surprisingly smooth and accurate. If you're afraid you won't know which games support the use of a controller, have no fear, since the Nimbus app provides a list of all the games that are compatible. It uses a lightning cable to charge and offers over 40 hours battery life. And not only can you play with this on your iPhone, but it functions with all Apple devices like an iPad, iPod, Macs, and even the Apple TV. Honestly, this just might make it into my gadget backpack. And you might have noticed me using this guy to play some of the games within Nimbus, and this is the Manfrotto Pixie Smart. While this may not be iPhone specific, it's an awesome stand that iPhone users can take advantage of in quite a few ways. We're looking at a mount for your phone that can be attached to this mini tripod in both landscape or portrait mode. Of course, this is great for taking time photos, a time lapse, or even if you want to set the phone down and record a video. It's super adjustable, so by pressing the little button on the front, you can move it around and get all kinds of angles out of it. This thing also comes in handy when you're out and you want to use it to prop up your phone and watch some videos or play some games like you saw me do. And if you want to be a bit more discreet, you can get rid of the tripod legs and still prop up your phone in landscape or portrait mode. And this last one here I had to add since I'm such an audio guy, and this is the Sennheiser Clip Mic Digital. 
This may seem a bit unconventional, but with all the questions I get about starting YouTube without tons of crazy gear, I often recommend using your smartphone to start. And if you've got a bit of extra cash, you can pick this guy up for some pretty sick audio. This thing is great for voiceovers, recording interviews, or anything that's dialogue related. Honestly, this thing has saved me a couple of times. And the good thing about the clip mic is being able to get solid audio without having to carry around a ton of gear. And heck, you could even use it to periscope if you're into that. But that about wraps it up for my list of the best iPhone accessories. Now, if you don't have an iPhone and this list doesn't apply to you, why not enter into my iPhone and LG G4 giveaway so it can? <laughs> but if you're interested in a chance to win a brand new phone, hit the links down below in the description to see my video and find out how to enter. But that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. Until the next one, it's your average consumer. Peace.